Let's go. Look, look, here, look, here's the photographer down the end. He's a photographer in the end. He's got to yeah, be. Got to be. Where? Where? Look, you stop. Look at all behind you, bro. Joe, look around. Go on! Police harassment of Dominic Noonan! Get a barrel. Help. He stopped. Did he stop? Did he Where's Rick? Where the fuck's Rick? Where's Rick? Yeah, they're all over us. Yo, hey! It's only time getting here! Just in time, that! Let's get out of the bus! Yeah, police are all. Yeah, Joel, they're coming. Joel, 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 they're coming now. They're here. Right, yeah. Right, Cody said, shout, get to shouting, release the people now. Release the people now, get them out of the way. What's that? Because his legs are out of the way. Turn around here and wave. Yes! Woo! Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> hey! Right guys, Cody guys, back again, dropping out another video. Now, as you might see behind me and around me, I'm on the road. Well, I'm not, I'm uh, going for a mooch up the canal actually. It's early morning, absolutely gorgeous Manchester weather. Look, full views man, all around. Check it. Right, so yeah, I just thought I'd do a vlog guys right now. As you can see from the videos at the start of the video, um, this video is gonna be on uh, the day that Dominic Noonan, uh, me and the lads, brought Manchester to a standstill. Now, for those that don't know, uh, Dominic Noonan uh, is a well-known Manchester gangster. Um, I was good friends with him for about four or five years. We used to go everywhere together. Um, um, like I say, I was his co-defendant on a witness intimidation. And what it was, uh, four years ago next month, um, he, was on, um, he was on license from uh, his time f for a firearms charge. Got caught with a revolver in the engine compartment and a load of bullets, right? So how it worked was, um, he was on license, and he gone. He had like two days left, right, of his uh, license, and uh, probation decided to ring him and said, "Listen, um, we're, we're gonna. Can you come in, uh, right?" And he knew he'd been for his last meeting, so he knew that they was gonna recall him for the last forty-eight hours, which is absolutely pointless, guys, right? So what he said to what he said on the phone was. If you're going to recall me, he said, I'm going to give you something to recall me for. You're not recalling me for no reason. It doesn't work like that. Um, so, yeah, so that's how it worked. Um, so he said, I'll give you a reason to recall me. So what he'd done a few weeks before, he knew there was a possibility. So we was on the train uh, going down towards Congleton Way. Um, and he said, you know what? He said, I'm not doing this. He said, and he, he saw, as we was going down the train, uh, he saw um, this uh, building site with a crane. And he said, he said, if they recall me, he said, I'm going to climb up that if I get the chance uh, to highlight the failings and stuff like that. So that's what the aim was to do. But then one night we was in Peterley Gardens and we went past the big wheel, right? It was a big 250 foot wheel. Um, and I, I, I saw the service ladders. So I tapped him on the shoulder, said, listen, if we do it, we do it here, right? So that was the aim. Um, so that they pretty much, I did make you all right, morning. I did. Yeah, so. He carried on that way, so we saw the service ladders right for the big wheel. So we're going to have security.
publicity at the bottom. I said, you're not going to get access. And I said, it's in the middle of nowhere. You're not going to get any publicity. Right, so, um, anyway, cut a long story short, fast forward. Right, he gets this call from probation asking him to go in. Right? So, obviously, he said, you're going to recall me, aren't you? He said, so, if you're going to recall me, I'm going to give you a fucking reason to re re recall me. Right, so what he did was, he rang me, said, meet me in town. Right, we met him at town at this car wash. Um, and that was pretty, and it just went from there, really. So, we met a couple of the boys down there. He packed a, a bag full of sandwiches and drinks and stuff because he's got like a, he had, he's got diabetes and he had to keep his blood sugar up and stuff. So what we did then was we walked through Piccadilly Gardens. I rang the media before, like the, the local paper and stuff. I said, look, do you trust me? He said, yeah. I said, right. I said, do me a favour. I said, get to Piccadilly Gardens, right, um, in the next half an hour because the office is right in the city centre. Um, so they did. We turned up. Um, we walked right past everyone onto the big wheel. He's paying, he's paying, he's paying. They stopped the wheel. We all walked through. Um, and then what happened was I stepped through and I boosted Dominic up onto a pod. From there, he got onto the to the actual um, axes and we climbed straight up the service ladder. All right, guys, listen, my arm's killing, so I'm gonna, re I'm gonna carry on in a few minutes. All right, bye. Right, guys, so I'm back to the vlog. My arm kills, guys. I'm holding it upright all the time and stuff, but just look where I'm at. Absolutely stunning. Uh, right guys, yeah, so what it was, um, so he's climbed up the service ladders. Um, we was all, we all then stepped away from the service ladders. Sorry, there's a wash trying to get me. Uh, so we stepped away from the service ladders. Um, and then all that happened was we were shouting, go on, right, one of the lads that we was with, you hear him shouting, go on Dominic, Dominic Newton, police harassment, right? Um, so the idea was, if they're going to recall him, give them something to recall him about. Don't just recall him for the sake of it, right? Because he's number one on um, Greater Manchester Police's shit list, right? Uh, if you stand there long enough, guys, you'll be able to hear a tram. Yeah, I'll stay here. Right, you can, hear, you can see the famous Manchester tram in the background. There you go. Treating your heart, right? So, yeah, so um, the idea was to give them something to recall him for. Don't just let them recall him for no reason, right? It was a shitty tactic. What is the point in recalling someone for 48 hours of the sentence? For, for those that don't know, recall means you go back to prison, right? Whether it's whether it's a, a fixed term recall, an FTR, uh, or a full term recall, right? Where you, say you had like six months left, you'd have to serve the rest of the six months of your sentence. So it's going to recall him, right, on a 28 day, but he only had two days left. It didn't make sense. Um, so we took this course of action to highlight uh, the injustice and stuff like that and the actual uh, targeted police harassment of Dominic. Um, so anyway, so we're standing at the bottom of the wheel shout, shouting up to Dominic. Um, the media that I'd tipped off, what we, I didn't tell them what we was going to do because they'd tell the police. So what we did was um, we just simply waited, just going under a bridge. Got to watch me here because I'm like six foot four. Uh, yeah, so the media that I told, look, something's going to go down, but I can't tell you what. Um, and then simply, they turned up. Um, they were taking pictures. Dominic climbed the big wheel, sat on the axes. This is a man that's scared of heights. Absolutely. Imagine climbing, like, halfway up a 250-foot uh, Manchester big wheel. As you can see from the, some of the pictures and stuff and some of the videos, they're my own personal videos and my own personal pictures, them guys. Um, the story took place in, I think it was May the 6th, 2014. Uh, it was absolutely crazy, guys. Canal's a bit more run down here. Um, living in a great, beautiful part of the world, guys. My great city, just a few miles down the road. Um, this on my doorstep. It's all good, man. Um, so anyway, so uh, Dominic's climbed up the wheel. Um, he's shouting things from the top of the wheel. Um, when something like this goes down in Manchester, yeah, famous Manchester tram. Not if you can see that. So yeah, so. Um, it went down, guys, and he's standing on the top of the wheel. He's shouting from the top of the wheel. Um, people started to gather. Uh, there was a media report, like 300. It was more than any 300 there. It's about 1,000. Um, what, what ended up happening, they had to close all the local businesses on Piccadilly Gardens, which is thriving. Um, had to close down hotels, restaurants, pubs, clubs, everything in that area, just in case he, he, he jumped or he fell. He wasn't going to jump, um, but in case he fell and stuff like that. So that they could then obviously, um, like, no one had see anything. It uh, caused a major disruption. We brought Manchester to a standstill. Like I said, we didn't do it um, like lightheartedly. Uh, it took a 
long course of action to actually think about that because they was going to fucking stitch him. So we did what we had to do in that, in that situation and that's exactly how it went down. Um, he sat up there for six hours, uh, it rained in that period. I actually went home uh, to get my uh, folk to charge my phone because it was obviously, my battery was dying. Because I, What I did, whilst he was up there on the wheel, uh, I rang every news desk in the country, local, national, radio, TV, rang everyone. Right? And they all turned up as well, a lot of them turned up. So I just make sure who was behind me. It's awkward guys, talking and walking. When I've got a canal there and I'm trying to, you've got cyclists and stuff come past you and stuff, so my arm's actually massively aching again, uh, built up a lot of lactic acid. I'm um, just letting you guys know that obviously this is how it goes, man. I'm not always, thought I'd break up, guys, I'm always in the house and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, so I rang all these news desks and stuff, passed on Dominic's number. Dominic had a fully, uh, fully charged phone, was at the top of the wheel um, and was doing interviews from the top of the wheel, uh, holding on with one hand and talking to the media with the other. Uh, it was a massive stunt, got massive publicity. The police were absolutely fuming with him. <laughs> uh, there's an interview somewhere with the, uh, the chief superintendent and he was going mental. He said, oh, he said, this has caused tens of thousands of uh, pounds to the taxpayer and stuff like that. And it was just crazy. I'm not very good at this walking and talking shit, guys, right? Listen, I'm gonna have to rest my arm again. Uh, so I'm just chilling with some Lucas here. Um, I'm going to carry on walking and stuff, and I'll carry on this vlog uh, very shortly. All right, guys, speak to you soon. Bye. Yeah, guys, so like I said, he's climbed the wheel. Uh, just continuing, guys, right? I'm not very good at talking and walking shit. Fucking hell. Trying to concentrate. Think about what I'm actually trying to say whilst trying to avoid falling in the canal and fucking dog walkers, dog shit, and cyclists and stuff, right? So, yeah, so like I said, guys, it was just a case of he was up the wheel. It was causing a nuisance. Uh, all the media turned up. Um, everything had cordoned off and then he pushed the cordon back and back and stuff. He stopped trams, he stopped buses, uh, it brought the whole of the city centre to a standstill, guys. Right? Like I said, we had the name, uh, which caused him a nuisance. That's exactly how it went down. Um, made local, national papers and stuff. After six hours, uh, he came down the wheel. Um, he was then, the first time in his life, he'd never actually been handcuffed. He was put in the back of an ambulance, checked over, because he had, obviously, diabetes and stuff. How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping yet another video. As you saw from the three videos that I posted whilst I was out where I was filming and stuff, it's very hard guys for me to film, concentrate on what I'm saying, walk and talk whilst avoiding dog walkers, dog shit and cyclists right on the canal. Um, but I wanted to break it up a bit. Uh, I'm now back indoors so what I'm going to do, um, them videos weren't the best guys, I apologise about that. Like I said, I was trying to think and walk and talk and it, it, it just wasn't... Uh, it just wasn't working for me. So I'm going to give a summary, guys. So obviously I was friends with Dominic for a very long time and stuff, right? Um, Dominic had got out of prison after serving time for a firearm and a, a load of bullets. Um, you serve half your sentence and then you spend the other half as a free man um, on what you call license, where you got to go probation and stuff, right? So anyway, he's a free man. He's got, we, at the time, he had a few weeks left. We was on the train down to Congleton. Dom said... He said, there's a real possibility that I know they're going to pull me in uh, and they're going to recall me, right? Because he's number one on Greater Manchester's police shit list. Um, wrongfully so as well. There's a lot of other shit going on, uh, but they kept targeting Dominic, right? Where he's currently still in prison. Uh, I'm no longer in contact with Dominic, but um, I wish him all the best for the future and stuff. Top, top bloke. Uh, and had some great memories with him. Right, so we've gone to Congleton, we're on the train, right? Dom said, I know they're going to recall me one day. He said, you see this building site here on the left? And it was in the middle of nowhere. He said, I'm going to climb that crane uh, in protest if they ever try to recall me. And I'm able to, I'll climb up there. Because uh, you go to probation like once a week and stuff. And then obviously, like, yeah. So anyway, so then a few weeks later, we was on Piccadilly Gardens, right? And there was a big 250 foot wheel, as you can see from the pictures and the videos at the start of the video, right? And uh, we was walking past it, and Don was on the phone as usual. Uh, and I was looking at the structure, and as we got past it, I looked to the left and I could see the service ladders, right? So I said to Dom, I knocked him, I said, hey, I said, you know how you said, if they're gonna recall you and we get the chance to, well, like you'll protest and we'll do it and they'll give you, if they're gonna, if they're gonna recall you, we'll give them a reason to recall you, right? So um, the, the big wheel and stuff, I said, look, I said, we do it here. I said, service ladders there. I said, we climb through, I, I boost you up onto the pod. Then you climb onto the metal work and straight up the service ladder to the, to, to, to the halfway point and sit in the middle on the axes of the wheel. 
Anyway, a few weeks later, I, the one day that I wasn't with them, he rings me. He said, right, probation have rang me. They want me to go in, even though I had my appointment the other day. They want me to go in because I think they're going to recall me. So he said, I'll meet you at the spot. Now, the spot was a car wash um, at the at the side of the ramp for Piccadilly um, train station. It's no longer there. Uh, so cut a long story short, what we ended up doing, met Dominic there, me and a couple of the lads, yeah. Uh, filled up a bag full of drinks and stuff like that and sandwiches and everything in a black bin liner walked through the center of manchester dom had to keep like i think he had his hood up or something like that on his jacket because if the police seen him they would have arrested him and he was going back to prison for fucking 48 hours ridiculous so we've walked through we've walked through and then we walked straight up to the wheel and there's like a little like a queue thing but there's no queue so we just walked through and then we said he's paying he's paying he's paying they stopped the wheel we walked through um, Dominic, I boosted Dominic up, gave him a peg up, right, onto the onto the pod, because obviously you get, the, the big wheel goes around with all the pods, people were in the pods, this this one stopped to let us on, and then bam, straight up on the top, climbed up onto the metal work, and straight up the service ladder, uh, sat at the top of it, scared of heights guys, he's got stress related diabetes and stuff, uh, and he's scared of heights, which is crazy, um, so he sat at the top of there, um, I, I before we went to town and what we knew what was going to do I rang the local media said look do you trust me he said yeah I said right get a photographer on the gardens I said I can't tell you what we're going to do because they've got a duty of care they've got to they've got to let the police know so we weren't going to do that so the journalist was there the photographer was there and then like I said he, he climbed up it um the, the big wheel stopped um, people started to gather at the bottom and then cold is just like clever switched on started googling all the news desks and stuff for journalists and stuff like that ringing news desks radio stations here's dominic's number here's dominic's number blah 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 dominic was doing interviews holding on with one arm speaking to the media on the other right the point was right he was being he'd been harassed by the police and the point was we wanted to highlight the harassment that dominic had suffered and the fact that he was going to recall him for two days right anyway spent six hours up there and it started raining it was sunny it was raining Thousands of people at the bottom and stuff. Uh, the police came. All the bars and local businesses had to close down. Hotels, bars, restaurants. It's a very, if you know Manchester, it's a very busy area. And for those that don't know, it's made up of bars, clubs, restaurants. You've got Burger King, McDonald's. You've got shops. You've got bars. You've got restaurants and all this stuff. You've got trams. You've got buses. It's a crazy, busy little spot, right? Now, obviously, they had to close all these businesses, right? They had to put um, a cordon in place. The cordon gradually got bigger and bigger. It stopped trains. It stopped buses. Now the idea wasn't to impact Joe Public. It was to it, it was to cause a public nuisance, right? So that we could highlight. It was a it was a protest, pretty much. Um, but like I say, the cordon got pushed back and pushed back. They closed Oldham Street. They had um, firefighters there. They had ambulances there. Um, it was actually a paramedic, um, like aerial paramedic, that went up and stuff with a harness. Put a harness on Dominic. Put a, a little safety helmet on him. They got him. The, the police had to buy him a Burger King because obviously his blood sugar and stuff. So he got food while he was up there. He sat on the biggest wheel in Manchester at the time, like the like a big tourist attraction. So halfway up the wheel with great views, eating his Burger King whilst doing interviews with the media. Um, it caused a massive nuisance and stuff like that. Uh, after six hours, Dominic had made his point. I was in constant contact with him. At one point, he had to go home to charge my phone. Went back down there. Um, Dominic came down at like quarter to ten. People were cheering and stuff at the bottom. Um, he was then taken into the back of the ambulance. It was the first time Dominic had never been actually handcuffed. He was going to be arrested, but first they had to check him over. So they took him into the back of the ambulance. Uh, they checked him over, and then um, the, the police then obviously arrested him, took him to Central Park Police Station. They should have taken him to prison. They didn't. They kept him in the police station um, until his license ran out two days later. And then, how crazy is this, guys, right? They got a police armed escort to escort the police van from the short distance from um, the police headquarters to Strangeways. He was in Strangeways for 20 minutes. He signed his uh, release and stuff. Um, and he got, I think he got his 46 pound as well, the leaving grant that you get as well. And then it went to court and stuff. The police tried to fuck him for a much higher charge, um, but the charge was stayed and then it was kicked out. So Dominic Walks got free for it. Uh, so that was pretty much it guys, right? I'm gonna leave the video here guys. Like, comment, subscribe, speak to you all soon. Bye.